you guys. How you doing? It's the morning of Abby's surgery. I need to leave here in about 10 minutes unless my map has shown different directions. Um, I didn't film yesterday. Just kind of took our time to get ready to do all the last minute things, to get laundry caught up, pack my bag. I'm gonna make a whole pack my hospital bag thing about me because it's not, it's about Abby. I have my basic supplies. I'm doing basic make makeup this morning, making sure I have everything to take care of myself in the hospital. Um, but we're getting ready to go. I know, but we're not. Okay, let me just finish doing this and then I've got to get a few more things downstairs. Okay. Uh, but it's, it's, it's surgery day. So I'm gonna hurry and do this really quick and then we're gonna head on, get on our way. I get this bag. Jason has my bag. Dad are prepared to go back, but we won't show Abby. <laughs> no, yeah, we'll take a photo. All right. Okay, bye, kiddo. Love you too. Okay, I'm going to go All right. We are one hour and 20 minutes probably since you went back. Yeah. We have a little had to prep and do phone something. that they give you. Um, oh, we have new, oh, man, I have new messages. Okay, hang on one second. It's just telling us that the procedure has started. I wish I knew what time that was at. Oh, sent at 10.30. Okay, so we're only one hour in. One hour and 10 minutes in to her procedure. Um, another message, but we get messages from this all the time. No problem. Okay. Um, which is our way to stay in touch. The nurse said she would, um, text us every two hours, um, during the procedure. We're standing right here cause there's, we're out on a little deck and there's a heat lamp above us. So it's kind of nice, but the view behind us is kind of a cool building as well. Um, just trying to like calm nerves. I didn't want to leave the hospital to go get breakfast, so that was a little bit of a, you know, just a kerfuffle when we first came out. We were both hungry. You're hangry. I was you get I was hangry. Not hangry. You were being super uptight about me trying to explain to you the restaurants we could because go to. you. I don't know Susie's Cafe. I don't know what is at Susie's Cafe. And then I, would I you wouldn't tell look you, at the menu. I was looking at menus. Anyway, um, we are fed. Hopefully enough to get us through another couple hours. Um, it was actually cheaper than probably going to a cafe. We went to the cafeteria. Um, this hospital is kind of cool. I just want to like, we, me and Abby have been to this hospital a lot, but also I've been here a lot with my kids um, at different times. This is the hospital that Ashley came to when we thought she was gonna have an emergency, um, uh, at, what is it, appendectomy? Like appendix oh, out? Oh, we thought it was her appendix, yeah. Yeah, um, so the way the hospital works is all the floors, all the different areas are, it goes from the forest into the mountains, through the river, and to the ocean. And they have all this, it's totally geared for kids. All yeah. the pictures on the wall, the elevator, everything. Yeah, all the elevators are like it's frog totally and kid, river and. Happy colors. And yeah. So, um, it's just a waiting game. So we have six hours left to wait. So we're gonna go back up to the surgical floor um, they have little pods that you can sit in. They have them all over um, the hospital, um, but we kind of, what is that squeak? Oh, I thought it was like an animal. Um, it's just his feet down here on the floor. Um, we're just gonna go like sit in a pod and watch our shows. I don't have anything to work on on the computer. I brought all my computer stuff 
to edit um, tomorrow and the next day, hopefully. hopefully I have bills to pay, here. but I don't have to pay until tomorrow, so. Yeah. Um, I, when we left all of our, all of my and Abby's hospital bags in the car, we don't need them now. We'll get them after we get her set up in her room. She opened a fun little bag that I got her, um, a little gift. I got her a nice blanket, some cozy socks, and um, the whiteboard. You guys saw that. So she has something to talk with when she first wakes up. And honestly, like going forward, so she doesn't have to like sit and type on her Text phone all the time. Anything, yeah. yeah. It'll be so, easier. Yeah. We will update you guys as we get updates from the hospital because there's there's no point unless we have another update. We just wanted to like talk It'll with you guys. It'll be a couple hours, but oh, yeah. it's tough to think about what's I know. So every two hours we'll update you guys. She's, I'm trying to honor her her privacy. She really doesn't want to be filmed. Um, wouldn't even let us take a picture of her as a before photo. Um, just to have a before photo. She's like, you've taken passport photos. You've taken, yeah, we have you know, photos. we have yeah. photos. Um, She's just a 16 year old. And they don't always want to be yeah. center of attention. That's fine. That's, but that's understands why. this is kind of a big thing and a big process and a big life change for her. And uh, so we'll document it from our perspective instead. It's just telling us that the procedure has started. I wish I knew what time that was at. Oh, sent at 10.30. Okay, so we're only one hour in. One hour and 10 minutes in to her procedure. Um, another message. But we get messages from this all the time. No problem, okay. Um, which is our way to stay in touch. The nurse said she would um, text us every two hours um, during the procedure. We're standing right here because we're out on a little deck and there's a heat lamp above us. So it's kind of nice. But the view behind us is kind of a cool building as well. Um, just trying to like calm nerves. I didn't want to leave the hospital to go get breakfast. So that was a little bit of a, you know, just a kerfuffle when we first came out. We were both hungry. You're hangry, you get I was hangry. Not hangry. You were being super uptight about me trying to explain to you the restaurants we could Because go to. you, I don't know Susie's Cafe. I don't know what is at Susie's Cafe. And then I, I went to You wouldn't Italy. look at the menu. I was looking at menus. Anyway, um, we are fed. Hopefully enough to get us through another couple hours. Um, it was actually cheaper than probably going to a cafe. We went to the cafeteria. Um, this hospital is kind of cool. I just want to like, we've, me and Abby have been to this hospital a lot, but also I've been here a lot with my kids um, at different times. This is the hospital that Ashley came to when we thought she was going to have an emergency, um, uh, what is it, appendectomy? Like appendix oh, out? Oh, we thought it was her appendix, yeah. Yeah. Um, so the way the hospital works is all the floors, all the different areas are, it goes from the forest into the mountains, through the river, and to the ocean. And they have all this, it's totally geared for kids. All yeah. the pictures on the wall, the elevator, everything. Yeah, all the elevators are like it's frog totally and kid, river and... Happy colors. And yeah. So, um, it's just a waiting game. So we have six hours left to wait. So we're going to go back up to the surgical floor. Um, they have little pods that you can sit in. They have them all over um, the hospital. Um, but we kind of... We got squeak. Oh, I thought it was like an animal. Um, it's just his feet down here on the floor. Um, we're just gonna go like sit in a pod and watch our shows. I don't have anything to work on on the computer. I brought all my computer stuff to edit um, tomorrow and the next day, hopefully. hopefully I have bills to pay, here. but I don't have to pay until tomorrow, so. Yeah. Um, I, when we left all of our, all of my and Abby's hospital bags in the car, we don't need them now. We'll get them after we get her set up in her room. She opened a fun little bag that I got her, um, a little gift. I got her a nice blanket, some cozy socks, and um, the whiteboard. You guys saw that. So she has something to talk with when she first wakes up. And honestly, like going forward, so she doesn't have to like sit and type on her Text phone all the time. Anything, yeah. yeah. It'll be so, easier. Yeah. We will update you guys as we get updates from the hospital, because there's there's no point unless we have another update. We just wanted to like talk It'll with you guys. It'll be a couple hours, but oh, yeah. it's tough to think about what's I know. So every two hours we'll update you guys. She's, I'm trying to honor her her privacy. She really doesn't want to be filmed. 
Um, wouldn't even let us take a picture of her as a before photo. Um, just to have a before photo, she's like, you've taken passport photos, you've taken, yeah, we have you know, photos. we have photos. Um, she's just a 16 year old and they don't always want to be yeah. center of attention, that's fine. That's, but that's understands why. this is kind of a big thing and a big process and a big life change for her. And uh, so we'll document it from our perspective instead. to get my water and they were nice and gave me some pebble ice. Anyways, Is that what you call pebble ice? That's pebble I ice. Pebble ice had to be small pebbles. Well there's different versions of it but that's that's a really nice one. Okay. Got my bag so I can watch a show on my laptop instead of just my phone. Oh, and what's the update? The update we just got Hello update from the team. Abby is doing well and vital signs are stable. It's also getting close to finish. Maybe another two hours at the most. We'll message you when the time comes. But that's like easily like two hours ahead of schedule. Maybe an hour and a half ahead of schedule. Yeah. Okay, just got the alert that Abby is done. They're finishing up the procedure. Like quick and yeah. good, it didn't take long. Um, it's an hour earlier than we thought she was gonna get done. That went fast. I don't know why. It did go faster, I assumed. I don't know, day at work takes longer. <laughs> Um, so we're in this little like consult room or whatever, waiting for the surgeon to come in. Um, and she's like, you know, sometimes they can be in like in just a few minutes and sometimes it'll be like 30 minutes. We don't ever know what they mean by we're almost finishing up. <laughs> so now we just stay in here and wait for him to come in and find out how it all went. Seems like it went good though. It, it, yeah, like all the updates if they had were. Complications, it would be yeah. longer. No, I know. I just not, now I'm anxious to like see her and and it's, it's now the hard road begins. Now the hard stuff. Yep. <sighs> it just feels good to know she's out. Yeah, and it went well. That was my worry. Is you know, where it doesn't go well, but yeah, just glad she's done. No, she's a strong kid, but she doesn't need to be. Yeah. You're hear our phones beeping. I know. I've to I told. We're I texting texted everybody. everybody <laughs> I told them. So just got just off the phone with my dad and um, my sister, my twin. Um, surgeon said everything went great, and um, she lost half the blood <laughs> that normal patients do with the surgery, mm -hmm. and she used less anesthesia than normal. And he's already given her IV um, pain meds, and um, she's gonna be numb for weeks, if not months. <laughs> it's weird when you cut nerves and you have to put them back together, and um, they don't all come back at the same time. So um, we are just back out here waiting in her little in her cubicle. I don't, I don't it's nice. know if we've really shown what these little cubicles look like. There's little um, cubby areas where we've got like charging stations and sanitizer and and a nice window it's beautiful yeah no we have like this view and uh jason likes to fall asleep and snore but you didn't catch I me i almost caught <laughs> him i almost caught him you said that every time i sat up or woke up and to be honest with you, i wasn't I sleeping the one time you I were was, sleeping no, i wasn't you were snoring <laughs> and i had my camera out and i was being very discreet yeah. and i was trying to film him snoring but and you, then the lady next to us her phone went off her, her little like the other time hospital you said phone. that i was snoring i wasn't my eyes were wide open then you snore wide open. No, I had my glasses on so you couldn't tell, but I'm just laying. You're snoring. <laughs> you really need to catch this on camera. I'm so mad. Anyway, we're glad she's done, and uh, we're just waiting for her to wake up enough for her, us to join her in recovery, and then we'll take her to her room and get her in for the night. It's Oh, and our surgeon was, you know, he's like, you know, because we were like, okay, when is she going to wake up? And he's like, yeah, about an hour. Um, but we don't want to leave the hospital because, like, we want to be here, here ready. Here yeah. Up, and he's like, "Are you guys hungry?" And we're like, "Yeah, but we're gonna we're gonna stay here." And he was like, "Okay, there's a really good Chinese restaurant that delivers to the hospital." What is it called again? Yummy. 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 
Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. Yummy. So he's like, you can get that delivered. Or, like, we're not feeling hungry, and I think part of that is because we just ate a, a tin of Pringles and, and licorice. Um, and, uh, I think some, she's going to want to sleep a lot, so I think... Maybe I, once we I get her settled in, you know, I, go get her, get something. Shake Shack sounds better than... I know. Chinese. It kind of does. We've never been to Shake Shack before. I don't like Indian food, but you don't like that. Oh, no. That will do... Mm -mm. I'm not going to be in the hospital when I eat Indian food. I had... <laughs> Not to take away from the video, but I should not drink apple or orange juice. That, no, that was not wise. Chinese food might not be, or Indian food might not be the good options for me either. So we'll we'll um, carefully film Abby for the rest of the evening. She's awake. Literally just turned the camera off. I'm like, ready for you to go back. We were getting settled back in for an hour, but she's ready. She'd be waking up already. Cause she didn't have as much anesthesia, so I think she's just, and that's the way she was with like her wisdom teeth surgery. You can go ahead. to feed that to her over the next two hours. 